Installing Android Studio 2 with the Jenny Motion emulator. Free version. First, go ahead and type in Android Studio in a search. Find the link that says Download Android Studio SDK. And then click on the link to download for whichever version. For this example, I'm going to be using Windows. Agree to the terms, click download, and go ahead and save. I've already gone ahead and downloaded it myself. Next, go ahead and go to the Jenny Motion website, which is JennyMotion.com. Create a free account by clicking on Sign In. And then, if you've already created an account, just go ahead and log in, log in or create an account now. I've already created an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. After you log in, you'll be taken to the download page. Download for Windows, download for Windows without virtual box. It should recognize your system. Other downloads are below. Go ahead and download the one with virtual box if you don't already have VirtualBox on your computer. As you can see, I've already done this. Click Save. Go ahead and close your Windows out to log out. Click on the icon and say Log Out. Go ahead and close these tabs down. Now let's start up Android Studio or install. Double click the Android Studio download. Go ahead, go through the installation. Everything's good. I agree. It'll be installed in these locations. The installation process for me took about 15 minutes or more. Uh, after you're done, click Next. Do not start Android Studio yet, so uncheck the button, click Finish. Next, we're going to install Jenny Motion. So go ahead, double click on the Jenny Motion download. Your computer may ask you, hey, this doesn't look uh, legit just go ahead and say run I'm using English notice the location of the file Jenny motion and Jenny motion don't know why they do that but they do Next, next. Yes, I'm going to create a shortcut. Install. Go through the installation process. For me, this took about 20 minutes again. Click next. 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 Yes. Install. Say install for trusting for the device. Next start, click finish. It's going to say launch getting motion. Let's go ahead and do that so you can see what it looks like. Say finish. You'll get a pop up saying you're using this for personal use. If you want to purchase or you're going to use it for professional use, please purchase a copy. Click accept. Uh, it says we don't have a virtual machine. Let's go ahead and create one. You have a choice between Android versions, device models, whatever it may be. First, you have to sign in. So I'm going to go ahead and sign in. After signing in, you're given a bunch of choices. Choose what you like. I'm going to go with 
4.1 for now, but the newest edition right now is 6.0 that just came out. I just want to have a stable version. I'm going to choose a custom phone. You can choose whatever you want. Next, it gives it a title. I'm going to leave it as is. Next, let it download the files. After it's downloaded, click finish. And now we have our new phone. Don't run it at the moment. You'll do that in a few seconds. Go ahead and close Jenny Motion out for now. Open up Android Studio. I'm going to click OK since I don't have any previous studio files or settings. OK, let's set up our SDK. I'm going to click Standard. And then click Finish. Now it's going to download a bunch of files for me. After it's done downloading the components, click on Finish. Next, let's create a new project. For this example, I'm going to leave it as my example. Uh, domain doesn't really matter. You can set it as whatever your username is. Uh, my application, you know what? Let's do the old fashioned hello world. Click next. The APK we're going to be running for this is ice cream sandwich, or like the one I have sampled, is 4.41. Let's just leave it as the default. Notice if you change it, the possibility of devices it can run on lowers. Click Next. Since this is 2.0, instead of selecting Basic Activity, we can select Empty Activity. Click Next. You can change this if you like, but I'm not going to. Finish. The first time you run this, you may get a firewall notice. Go ahead and say allow access to private networks. Go ahead and close the tip or read through them if you'd like. Wait for it to load. Okay, we're up. I'm going to go ahead and click on activity underscore main.xml so it can go ahead and load up my Android environment preview. So we see that we have the word hello world. And if we double click on it, we can change it. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the exclamation point. I'll click. Also, so you're not confused, I'm changing mine to project rather than Android view. It's up to you what you want for your layout. All right, now we have to add the plugin for Jenny Motion. Click on your file tab or file settings. Click on settings. Go to plugins and then click browse repositories down at the bottom here. In the top type Jenny Motion or Jenny should be good enough. Notice it's selected. Click install. Let it run through the installation process. Once it does, Click Restart Android Studio right here. Click OK. And then it's going to ask you to restart. So go ahead and click Restart. Wait for Android Studio to restart. OK, it's been restarted. Next, what you're going to need to do is we're going to need to open a Windows Explorer. So that's your File Explorer. In the File Explorer, locate the installation directory directory for Jenny Motion. That's C, Program Files, Jenny Mobile, Jenny Motion. Go ahead, click on the URL up here and copy it. Go back to Android Studio. Click on the far icon here on the right, which is if you hover over it, it'll say Jenny Motion Device Manager. Click on it. It'll say 
other settings for Jenny Motion, set path to the Jenny Motion folder, paste your path in, apply, OK. Now let's go ahead and render our sample or emulate it. Click on the Jenny Motion icon again. It'll pop up and it'll give us the devices we've created. I've only created 4.1. I'm going to click on the Start button. It'll now load up Jenny Motion Studio with the emulator. Okay, our emulator is up and running. First time you run it, it's just like any Android device. It's going to say, do you know how to use this? Click here to touch this. Click here to touch that. I'm going to go ahead and scale this down so we can see it. You can go ahead then and close out the Jenny Motion Device Manager. Come over here to the Run button. Click on it. It'll initialize connected devices. We're going to select Jenny Motion Custom Phone. Click OK. Wait for it to build down below. And once it's built, we'll go back to our emulator and we should see our application. It looks like our process is done. Go back and look at the emulator. Okay, so the text is kind of small, but if you look closely, we have Hello World. And for this, it's best to actually leave it open. So if we go back to our program, let's zoom on in. Let's change the text size. I'm going to do that in the text editor. Then let's go ahead and change the word to something else. All right. Go ahead and click the play button again. Let it run through and compile. It says it's completed. Let's look at it.